Bamboo Lab HOS. We are pretty excited to unbox this 3D printer, so if you are curious about it, stay with us in this video. Look at the size of the accessory box. Maybe I'm doing this wrong because I remember the H2D. We have the connectors at the bottom of the box. Then I take it uh, all the way up. So let's repeat it. So all we need is to take this off like this. And now it's free to go. Let's release this part of the package. Okay, it's a pretty heavy machine, but we got it. Let's take our best friend on the 3D printing unboxings. Not exactly because you don't know what to do, but because we need to know the order of the things that we are going to do. So that's why I always consult the manual. In some cases, we need to take uh, some things off first of others. So it's always good to have this in hand. Something that I don't like is the unpack information are at the middle of the manual. We have some info before. If you take a quick look, you might think you don't have instructions for the unboxing, but we actually do. So only continue swiping pages. Now we are here. Let's remove all those straps. It's always important to verify your safety key on your 3D printer. So take this moment to verify if the power input is the same as your region. In our case, 200 volts. Now let's release the door. Please, I like this moment. It's the last time this glass will be clean. Let's release the glass cover. Now, a part that I am really afraid of is to handling this. Let's make it carefully. Okay. Now we have the AMS to release as well. I need to found my Allen tool, extra nozzle, sweet. We have those indicator stickers, so you can release those screws. We have the direction that we need to unscrew it. We have other screws at the side of the extractor. So before removing those, we need to unscrew them as well. Please remove this foam. We have another one to remove behind. Let me see if I need to release something. Okay, we need to release this one. We need to release the X axis as well. Let me take a cutter. Uh, something that really impressed me is how smaller this is comparing to the H2D version. I start to think if this may have more print quality or at least more acceleration because it's so less bulky than the H2D. I don't know, let's check testing it. Some stickers. I don't think we have anything else. Another difference. On the H2D, we have two cutters as this ones, both sides. Obviously, in here we only do one, so it's in this side. This is the cutter tool for the tool head. Always good to do it carefully. Another highlight. This glass also won't be clean soon. Now it's time for the safety key. All right, guys, the power cable was inside of the AMS. And fun fact, this does not work in Brazil because we have a different format for this cable. So I can use this without an adapter. And sometimes we are not the first option for the manufacturers. So let's use my own cable. Now let's start. We have Portuguese, which is a good thing, but I will do in English. The fact that I only need to access Bamboo Handy and will be connected to all my current printers, I love this. Let's agree with Bamboo Lab terms. We don't have any option. The printer is showing a alert. Did you remove all the screws from the build plate? Yes, we did. The side ones and the back. Before they start printing, let's install the AMS. We are going to install the spool holder for the right nozzle. We only would use this one if we had two nozzles. So if we have an upgrade soon enough to install in here, maybe use this guy. Instead, we are only going to use the AMS. There are two simple steps to install the AMS. We have the cable that we need to connect in here. 
end at the back of your printer. And also we need to install the PTFE tool. Now let's steal a filament spool from our farm really, really quietly. Busted. <laughs> Only one spool. <laughs> we are all set now. As our HOS are saying to us, it's time to create. Let's get it started. Let's see what we have in the print files. As always, we have a speedboat, but in this case, I am not going with, with this one. What we are actually going to print is a anti. And if you have a Bamboo Handy app on your phone, you can search for it and you will find STL Flix ant, and then you can prepare to print and we are going to select HOS and we have a monocolor version just to be a cool print test. All right, we have an anti inside of our H2S. Let's just wait to print. Guys, look at the result of this print, the smoothness at the surface. It's still impressive to me and now I'm really excited to test it. Maybe soon enough I will be sharing my opinion with you guys. See you there. Now the printer is done, we are starting the tests. Let in the comments what you want to know about this machine and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.